I'm not the best in the world on fish finders. I have learned something that helped me out a whole lot. I hope it helps you too. My fish finder is an old model. You got to push the buttons. I don't have one of these touch screens. Boy, they are nice though. Once you get your unit powered up, I hit my power button and I get this display right here. There's a button there for stop sonar, so we're going to select that. You see that orange thing come on. Now your transducer is no longer pinging, and so it won't overheat, and you can play with it all you want to while it's out of the water. Now, I know there's a lot of argument on both sides. You don't have to turn that transducer off. It ain't going to hurt it, or you better turn it off. You're going to burn it up. I don't know if it does or not, to be honest with you, but my thoughts on it, Mine cost me a pretty good bit of money, but if they have the feature on there to turn it off, why take the chance? So we're going to highlight settings, and we're going to hit our enter button. Now it's going to give us a whole bunch of options, and if you look right down there in the bottom left, there's a simulator. So we're going to go down to simulator. We're going to enter into that, and now it highlighted turn on retail mode. A lot of people will say, do not, whatever you do, do not turn on retail mode because you can't get out of it. But it's not that hard, so we're going to go into that. Now, save. We're going to save it. But now that the demo's on, the fun begins. Start mashing buttons and just see what you can find out. Play with your unit. See, we got charts, sonar, side scan, down scan, add pages and stuff. Golly, you can play a lot just on that screen right there, but you're not going to learn it unless you start mashing buttons. Okay, now we got our side scan up. We click on that. Look at here. Now we got mode auto, more options. Let's let's just click on that and see what happens. Oh, look at here. We got a custom. We got range, auto. What in the world does them things do? Go on there and click on it. Let's go down here, frequency. Look there, you can choose between 455 or 800. Let's hit the X and back out of that. More options. Look here, you got color palettes. You can flip left and right. Just all kind of things you can do. Let's go to our page button and, and say down scan. So we highlight down scan and we click on that. Now your down scan comes. It's got fish reveal on. You want to know what you can do with down scan? Well, enter into it. Click on it. Here we go with our options again. Let's exit out again. And let's go over here to sonar. Click on our sonar. There's our sonar page. And we can click on that enter button. And the same thing, we got auto mode or more options. Let's go down here and see what our options are. Don't forget that baby right there. You can pull up your charts, but there they are. And same thing, you can enter on your charts, see what your options are, how to set a new waypoint. You can go down here and enter find, you know, charted items or coordinates, find by your coordinates or whatever. Let's hit the X and back out. And you can always, don't worry about if you think he might get it messed up. And it's not going to affect it when you put it back into operating mode. And, and besides, you can always play around and find one right there it says restore default mode you can click on that and it'll put it right back to how it was when it came out of the box we're going to show you everybody says it's so hard to get out of retail mode we're going to hit the pages button or you could hit the power button we need to get in settings so i'm going to go up to settings now i'm going to go back down to simulator now exit retail mode is highlighted so hit that and this is maybe where people get confused. You got to highlight over here. Exit retail mode. Boom. Okay. We stopped the demo. That's all there are to it. If that stop sonar, see, it's got that bar on it. When you get in the water, it ain't going to work. So don't forget to turn that thing off. What got me to thinking about all this was one time I got up with a friend. We took two boats. He went one way and I went the other. If we got on some fish, we were gonna call each other. Well, I happened to get lucky, and so I gave him a call, and I said, man, I'm on them over here. You need to come on. He said, where you at? And I said, well, the coordinates is this, that, and the other. And he didn't know how to punch it in. 
to get to where I was at. And the bad thing about it, he had a big old nice 12 inch unit with touch screen and everything. You might need to create a waypoint or set a course to go here or there or whatever. And when you're out on the water trying to fish, it's not the time to be trying to learn. Now granted, you do need to spend a lot of time on the water playing with it. I suggest leave the fishing poles at home and, and make several trips just looking at your fish finder and mashing buttons and adjusting things and see what's happening. But if you practice and be prepared ahead of time at home, I think it'll greatly help your time on the water. And always remember folks, whether you work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.